Hello and welcome back to Jarvis Johnson Gold, the premium channel that is free. Uh, it is, it is free. But if you're watching this, you're premium. And there's a new trend on TikTok. Surprise, they're up to something else. We talked about this on my podcast, Sad Boys. If you don't listen, you should. Uh, I do it with my good friend, Jordan Adika. We found these TikToks of a girl who goes into stores and she does free labor. She says, oh, I worked I worked from Walmart for eight hours and it was awesome. I worked from Target for eight hours and it was, it was sick. We talked about how you're kind of cosplaying, you know, working these jobs, which is very insensitive and you're getting to profit off of this and get all these views. And, you know, the people who were actually working these jobs don't get to choose what they do during an eight hour shift or a, you know, multi-hour shift. Maybe they're working a double. It doesn't come off the best, though the person probably had the best of intentions. One of my fears that I mentioned was that this would become a trend. It's a chicken or the egg conundrum. I don't know who came first, but there is a, another person who goes and does free labor in establishments that they do not work at. And this person specializes in cleaning the bathroom and they make TikToks about it. And we're gonna watch those. I've seen one and woo wee, <laughs> it's gonna be a good old time. But first, I do wanna show you, if you have not seen uh, Ugg Madison's TikToks, I'm gonna give you a little primer on those. Working at Walmart for free. Oh, okay. First pet peeve of these videos is that they use the TikTok voiceover while their own talking is happening and it attacks my senses. <laughs> I can't, it's like a, it scrambles my brain. If you ever wanna like sort of psychologically attack me, play the, big, the first three seconds of one of these TikToks. I was doing such a good job that customers started asking for my help. Yeah, can you get my crash on this? I don't know, I don't work here, I'm sorry. Oh, I thought you worked here. No. Oh, I thought you worked here. Judging by all the work you were doing here. After a couple hours, I worked up an appetite. When I was in line, the girl in front of me didn't have a credit card, so she was going to have to go in a different lane and rescan all her stuff. And I told her not to worry about it and bought it for her. So, you know, I do believe that Madison, I choose to believe that Madison means well. They, you know, buy people's groceries. They give out gift cards to the establishments. I do not think it ends up being helpful content in my opinion, because of the optics of like kind of cosplaying a, a job that a lot of people work these jobs and do not, you know, make ends meet. They do not earn a living, a living wage from working these jobs. And oftentimes they're overworked and are not subjected to the best working conditions. So having someone come in, profit and build an audience and kind of get a ton of views, I, I don't think it's cool. But again, I, I, I can't, th I don't think that this person's evil and I don't think that they mean ill but I don't think the content's helpful. Where I really fell off was in the Target video. I got there at 1 Target p.m. ready to work. For free. I miss Again, I have to complain about the first few seconds of the video. This is what I can only describe as a cacophony of, of something, a cacophony of voice. The bathroom was really dirty, but don't worry, I fixed it. I fixed it is objectively hilarious. The bathroom is dirty, but don't worry, I'll fix it. And we're gonna look at somebody who entirely focuses on bathrooms. So don't, if that's your, if that's your thing, then you're in luck. Emptied the trash cans and got Olipop and more gift cards to give to my loyal oh, customers. Awesome. Employees and security guards kept walking past me, but I blended right in. I, I'm not gonna go into the whole thing, but I was like, it's a little odd to specify that you're giving Olipop to your customers. And then I realized it's an Olipop brand deal. That makes it worse. For a TikTok of this size, for a sort of a platform of this size to do a brand deal like this, you're getting paid probably thousands of dollars, at least in the low thousands to who knows the upside. That then makes it like extra bad. Why does it make it extra bad? Because you're not doing it for free and out of the goodness of your heart. Now, cynically, I'm like, you're just profiting. You're profiting more than a person working this job does. For those who don't know Olipop, it's like a probiotic soda or whatever. This reminds me exactly of like the backlash that Charlie D'Amelio got when she like pretended to work at a Walmart because she was doing some sort of brand deal with them. It's kind of the same, the same vibe. It's like cosplaying, working a minimum wage job, not the best look. I don't know this person. I don't know their intentions. And I don't want to make a statement on the person themselves. Uh, I will say that the content 
that's how it comes off to me. So this is apparently just the beginning of, I guess you could call the like free work or free labor trend on TikTok. The focus of this video will actually be someone who I haven't seen named The Clean Girl. The Clean Girl has almost 600,000 followers. They say, follow and I'll clean your toilet. Me and toilets have a bit of a storied history on this channel. Usually I'm seeing people on TikTok cooking out of them. So this is maybe a welcome change. But just from one look at the clean girl's pinned post, you can see that she's getting tens of millions of views with some of this stuff. And it doesn't look like she is always cleaning stores or anything, but I think she saw this trend happening and was like, let me jump on it and made a video called, I cleaned Burger King's bathroom for free. Actually, she said bar room for free, which is making me think, especially with the Gabriel's video that I just did, people are misspelling stuff in in the description to game engagement on TikTok because I can't think of another reason that they're doing this. Um, does anyone know? Is that what this is? Everyone has a typo in their descriptions now. Come with me to clean the Burger King bathroom for free. Within minutes, I was caught. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. The first thing I noticed, I don't know anything about the clean girl, but she has perfectly nailed the five minute crafts voiceover inflection to the point where I thought it was like AI or something doing the voiceover. And you'll notice that like the editing of this is reminiscent of those like life hack content farm channels in the Burger King bathroom for free within minutes I was caught cleaning their bathroom also kind of to that end of like the five minute craftsification of content I don't fully understand what sort of like color grading is happening here because it looks like it looks it looks so blown out and bright that it's like CGI the saturation is peak it looks like a fever dream and it is a fever dream to me. Within minutes, I was caught cleaning their bathroom. Within minutes, I was caught. <laughs> okay, yeah, that makes sense. When Alejandro, the employee, saw my beautiful work, he immediately left to go get his manager. I am wondering how you were caught within minutes. I guess you have to keep the door open for ventilation purposes, because you don't want to like hotbox the fumes of like the cleaning chemicals. So that's probably how Alejandro found you. I do like that she insists on changing her accent for Alejandro. And then I was discovered by Alejandro. Cue like Lady Gaga. But before we get into that, we have a brief word from today's sponsor, Air Up. Air Up is more than just a water bottle. With Air Up, you're drinking just water while experiencing flavor through scent. It's something they call scent-based taste. By sucking water through the straw, a slipstream is created, which allows water and air to come up through the scented pod and into your mouth. And that's where the scent-based taste kicks in. You've heard me talk about Air Up before, and it's because I love adding flavor without any additives or sweeteners. It's just water. They've got over 15 different flavors to choose from, from strawberry lemongrass to cherry cola. So there's something for everyone. Each one of these pods is gonna last you for about five liters of water. And right now, my favorite's peach. Ah, peach. This is me trying Air Up for the first time. I was genuinely shocked that it worked. It felt like a magic trick. So hey, don't choose between health and flavor. Click the link in my description and get started with Air Up today. Thanks to Air Up for sponsoring this video. Now back to the video. I have so many questions. Is it okay for me to clean here? Or will Alejandro be back to kick me out? I'm so worried. This is one of the dirtiest Burger King bathrooms. It's giving Dora the Explorer. I have so many questions. Is it okay for me to clean here? Is it okay for me to clean here? Or will Alejandro find me? Will I catch something by not wearing gloves while I clean? And then she's just like waiting like Dora the Explorer. That's right. I will. This is one of the dirtiest Burger King bathrooms I've ever seen. How many Burger King bathrooms have you seen? <laughs> How often have you been doing this off camera? Before I was like, you know, with the, the Target girl, I was like, maybe you're just doing this for the views and the brand deals and stuff. But the clean girl, she just goes into, this is her normal, this is her normal routine is go into a random Burger King and clean it. And just today she decided to film it. Which is wonderful. The dirtier, the better. I just hope I have. Okay. I didn't like the sound of that. The dirtier, the better. Relax. <laughs> Okie dokie, dude. I have no idea if I have minutes or hours to get the job done. Probably minutes. <laughs> if I had to guess, you have minutes because one, even if Alejandro appreciates the job you're doing, people have to go to the bathroom. They can't just keep turning people away because some random woman on TikTok is cleaning it. Like it's not scheduled maintenance, you know? The keen observers will have noticed by now, this is a brand deal. This is sponsored content, which is, it feels like most of TikTok is 
sponsored content these days. And I'm kind of working on a video about that. But this is a brand deal with Scrub Daddy, the famous Shark Tank success story, Scrub Daddy, which I love. I'm a, I'm a proud Scrub Daddy myself. But I do think this is, <laughs> this is a miss for their marketing department. But I won't leave until it's perfect like this. That looks like a hamburger bun. <laughs> that I, this must be some sort of cleaning supply, but it, that looks, that looks like the bottom of a McDonald's hamburger. Or is that, <laughs> that is 100% of fun. Eat until it's perfect. Okay. So this is like a, uh, this is like engagement bait. I don't feel like Burger King would appreciate that actually. Now that you're no longer using Scrub Daddy, does Scrub Daddy appreciate that? <laughs> they, instead of using a, their product that has sold hundreds of millions of dollars in product, Product, you could replace it with a the bottom bun of a Burger King burger, the king of a burger burger bun. This is 100% engagement bait. Take away the everything about this. Take away all of the context. I can appreciate a good engagement bait when I see one. Like this, you could eat off that sink. You could eat off that sink. I would not. I actually would not eat off that sink. But there is that guy on TikTok who makes like food in the sink. But remember the guy who he like cooked in an airplane bathroom? He made like shrimp. What have we done? <laughs> we have done the wrong thing <laughs> by by creating a market for some of this content. Where have we, we used to be a proper society, okay? This is, maybe we've gone a bridge too far. One who follows me to do these transformations. And that's when Alejandro came back. He said he appreciates my work, but if I don't leave, he's gonna call the cops. Don't call the cops, don't call the cops, Alejandro. I don't think Alejandro said that. I also think that that was the same clip from talking to Alejandro from the beginning, just reused to tell the story. But I do think it's fun. It's fun that we get a little narrative about, are they gonna call the cops on me for cleaning the Burger King bathroom? That's like a sentence that would harm a Victorian child. This is like the perfect amalgamation of bait content and it's working. I mean, this got like four and a half million views. I, again, can kind of respect it in a vacuum, <laughs> which is another cleaning product I'm sure that the clean girl uses. Uh, we'll have to watch, we'll have to find out. I was kicked out of Walmart for cleaning their bathroom. Come with me to clean the Walmart bathroom for free. Why does she do this? I mean, okay, wait, all of the questions are like for, for bait, for comments, for engagement. Like that's, but what has happened to the, like there's like some weird color grading happening here. This doesn't look natural. It like doesn't feel like my eyes are able to make sense of it. It looks like one of those AI images where like nothing is exactly right. It's like name one thing in this image. Within minutes, I was already caught cleaning Walmart's bathroom. When Rhonda, the employee stormed out. Of Why she got to name the employees? Why she got to name them like that, huh? They're just doing their job. <laughs> Why you got to put Rhonda on blast, okay? Why well, you gotta put Alejandro on blast? You know, let them be. They're just minding their own business, trying to work their job. You're the one who's being annoying. <laughs> Other than the fact that this is probably staged. Oh, no way. She's using Rhonda's real ass name. <laughs> okay. I can see that an RH here. Where do you get off? <laughs> Leave Rhonda alone. Use a fake name. You didn't need to use Rhonda's name and face in your TikTok, the clean girl. That's not very clean girl of you, actually. Rhonda was just curious. When Rhonda, the employee, stormed out at the bathroom. When Rhonda, the employee stormed out of the bathroom. All right, let's get a replay on Rhonda storming out. Oh yeah, storming. It looks like she sped up that video. R Rhonda was probably moving even slower away. In fact, I would have understood if Rhonda stormed out because you're weird. Because <laughs> what are you doing? I would be concerned if two strangers walked into the bathroom and started cleaning. It's a weird thing that doesn't happen a lot. So I would ask some questions. She's a renegade cleaner. She doesn't follow any of the protocols. You know what I'm saying? She's the Batman of scrub daddy. Let me guess. She's going to say, I didn't know if I had minutes or hours before they came to stop me, but I had to clean the bathroom as that is my creed. I had no idea what would happen next. Was it okay for me to clean here or? No, no, it's not. Vigilante cleaning is not allowed. All right. This was one of the dirtiest bathrooms I had seen in a long time. Damn. <laughs> Let them live, dude. Shit. You don't have to roast their ass. All right. It's a Walmart. We expect the bathroom to be dirty. This bathroom needed a deep clean and I had no idea if I had minutes or hours. I knew she was going to say this. These videos have the same structure. Team lead Mark. Damn, dude. 
she doxed everybody's ass. She doxed real ass Rhonda's name. I would censor Rhonda's name if it weren't for the fact that I want justice for Rhonda and I want to be able to say that. Can we get a group of support for Rhonda having to deal with fucking the clean girl and fucking team team lead Mark over here just on call and kicked out again. Oh well. Yeah. Oh, well. So they kicked her out because they say we clean it, but we can't have you clean it because you don't work here. And I'm sure there's some sort of liability that, that Walmart is culpable for if something happens. Also, she's cleaning it with like no gloves, with like short shorts on. I don't know for sure, right? I feel like I would develop some sort of a rash. I'm already prone to that. <laughs> so I think if I were to clean this in short shorts, one, the cops would be called even faster. And two, I feel like I would develop some sort of condition. Not even from the dirt, but from all the chemicals. This is like contact dermatitis waiting to happen, dude. And for what? For a vigilante scrub mommy? Again, not an expert. I feel like maybe inhaling these fumes, especially the radioactive ass, color graded, hyper saturated, trim trim ass fumes you're breathing, Feels like it's a risk. Feels like maybe you should have some sort of mask. Instead of Scrub Daddy, she should be sponsored by a fucking hazmat suit. <laughs> Please put some protection on, okay? Also, I feel like there have been historically stories of of cleaning chemicals that have turned into toxins. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that some of the most dangerous chemical weapons that have ever been made by humans were uh, cleaning products first. So how do you not accidentally mix some shit and create, <laughs> and create a neurotoxin, you know? McDon lads kicked me out. Okay, that's fucking hilarious. That's a hilarious misspelling, McDon lads. Cleaning into the barrel yeah. is not for me, for other people. Okay. You wanna look at it? I just wanted to make this place clean and enjoyable for everyone. And I get kicked out? Yes, you do get kicked out. You're not supposed to be there. Does that help? Does that answer your question? What are these comments? Why don't these people have respect? Like you walked out of there without a thank you. You're so nice for doing that and they aren't even grateful. No, <laughs> wrong. Eh. This person is making a living off of this shit. They're doing their content. It's not like a public good that they're doing. You deserve a hero award though. Those big brands just don't want to be exposed. Don't feel bad for yourself. You're doing very great. I'm not going to defend McDonald's, by the way, who needs no defense. Uh, opposite, actually. But I will defend the minimum wage worker who's working there, just trying to do their fucking job. And then people like this make their jobs harder because they introduce weird variables in situations that they shouldn't have to deal with. This feels like an actor from a Trim Trim video escaped the universe that those videos live in and started like doing shit in the real world. <laughs> they like don't behave the way that normal people behave. Come with me to clean the Taco Bell bathroom for free. This bathroom is disgusting, which is wonderful. The dirtier, the better, if you ask me. We should do a, a dirtier, the better percent speed run. See how fast. This one, we got dirtier, the better in eight seconds or less. Everyone said I had to clean a Taco Bell next. Challenge accepted. But I made a mistake. I forgot to bring enough rags. So I decided to get crafty and use a tortilla. No, <laughs> stop it. What are you doing? How did you get the tortilla, huh? Did you bring that from home or did you ask the Taco Bell? This is, this is making Taco Bell look worse. You may be a fine person. I have my doubts, <laughs> but uh, this content is disgusting. I just heard some employees talking outside the door. I need to hurry up. I don't know if I have minutes or hours. Oh, there it is. Bro, she has dialogue options, dude. This is wild. This is the free space on clean girl bingo is I don't know if I have minutes or hours. The dirtier, the better. All right, well. That's enough of that. I'm sure that some of you will need to clean girl your eyeballs after this. What do we think about this trend? I think it's just a new version of annoying people at work, which is something I'm uh, markedly not a fan of. So I'm gonna say pass, hard pass on the clean girl. All right, bye everybody.